Good afternoon drivers. This is Steve Montgomery. Today we're going to talk about the QRB valve, how to disassemble it, and things to look for as a driver that could show you if the unit is leaking or not. As you address the QRB, the first thing that you want to look at is right in here. If you see leakage of any kind right in here, chances are it's the gasket behind here. So I'm going to take that off for you so that you can see what we're talking about. So the first thing we want to do is we want to take off the horseshoe clamp or the butterfly clamp right here. So when you take this off, just set it aside, this whole unit will come out of here. Now, we're going to set this aside for the time being. This is the gasket that generally leaks right here. That Teflon gasket can be replaced and should re be replaced at the tank washes. As you can see inside, this is where the butter, where the valve closes right here on this surface right here and prevents the liquid from coming down in through here to the discharge. So once we get this apart, all right, I want to show you two things on this. First is the cotter key right here. When they're cleaning this at the tank washes, make sure that this cotter key is in place. It's made out of stainless and it's opened up like this on the end so that this stays in place. The second thing I want to mention is the gasket itself. So when you, when you have a trailer that's leaking product out of the external valve with this valve shut, it's generally that gasket right there is not closing properly. So those are the two places right there that you'll see leakage right off the bat. This one right here, this one right here, or this right here allowing product to leak out through when the valve is closed. And the other one that we have a real problem with drivers is on the valve itself. So I've taken this apart to make it easier. This right here, this nut, when you pick your trailers up from a tank wash, this nut should be snug tight all the way. So it should be right in like this. Now I'm gonna show you how this works. When you pull this nut off like this, there's a packing inside. A lot of times we'll have product dripping out of here on the packing. We'll have product out of here on the packing and we won't know why it's leaking. So if you take this nut off inside here, this is how it goes together. You have this piece right here which pushes the packing inside. This packing is the white part, okay? That's the part that goes bad. So this pat, this nut, it comes on like this, and then it screws on like this, all right? That's how it goes in. So what's the packing look like and how hard is it to change? It's not hard at all. Matter of fact, if you just turn this out, you can see the packing will actually start to come out of the inside. So this is what the tank washes are doing. They pull this out and the packing comes out right here. Now that packing can be replaced and it should be replaced at the tank washes. It works just like the packings on the pumps. As you compress it, it becomes tighter to the pack or to the shaft. So when they put it on, a lot of times, what you'll do is you'll see the you'll see it like this where they will not tighten it up and it won't thread on easy fix drivers all you have to do is screw it out a little bit all right and push this packing in now when you screw it down it's giving it more capacity in here to crunch up so just screw it in a little bit more push it down all right a little bit more push it down and then you can take the nut, put the nut on the back side, and start threading it on. Now, as you thread it on, the nut will actually cinch up and tighten that packing. All right? And it's as easy as that, guys. No big mystery to it at all. Just tighten it up. And so when you pick these trailers up, this should all be tight. The seals should all be good. And when you get them, when you pick the trailer up, the first thing you want to do is look inside here. You pull it apart. This, of course, will have an A nut on it. You pull it apart, take this piece out, pull this out, reach inside here, 
with anything, a rag, a sponge, dry it all out inside so that you have no liquid in here when you put this back together. That will reject the trailer from loading. So it goes back together the same way. You go ahead and you put this on here. Take your C-clamp. I always like to put my C-clamp on first. So you just close it up like this. Easier, easier done than said. Close it up like this. Once you get it on, you can rotate it around. Bring the top end around. Lock it in. Bring the top end around like this. Now once it's on, you can rotate the whole assembly around. Lock it in and tighten it up. It's easy as that. No big deal. Now we've talked about your packing in here, the seal, the cotter pin, and we've talked about the seal on the inside of this. And that's it. That's your QRB made easy. So enjoy drivers. Have a safe day. Drive safely.